Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, December 24th, 2014 by Gaia Blumi. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I lead through kindness. And I think this is a great <laughs> mantra to keep with you through today. We have kind of an interesting day, kind of challenging, some challenging aspects. Actually, the day, most of the day is fine. If you live in the States, it's going to be the evening-ish hours that may be more of a challenge. Probably the hours where we are getting together with our families and being the last final push for Christmas, getting all that stuff done. So we have a, the, well, I'll just go through the day. We have the moon uh, in Aquarius, meeting up with Uranus early in the day. So you may have some new ideas for doing things. You know Uranus always likes to innovate and shift things, shift the way you do things. And actually, I think this is a beautiful little combination for getting together with people, you know, with those that you love. I think the key today, and this is going to be the thing, the key today is with Saturn really in Sagittarius, we may be like gung-ho with our truth or our new truth. And I think the key today is not to be pushing your truth on anyone. I think that's the key through all of Saturn and Sagittarius. But today, with it newly in there and some of these aspects, you may be feeling that. In fact, the next aspect may, may have you wanting to do that. Mercury which is in Capricorn, is going to be squaring Uranus and Aries. And Uranus and Aries is newly direct, you know, wanting us to be ourselves and own our vibration. And Mercury in Capricorn may still be wanting to conform to the old ways. <laughs> Mercury in Capricorn is actually going to be meeting up with Pluto later. It's doing a little transformational act with that. But at first, it meets up with Uranus. And so with that, you know, the Uranus and Aries, Saturn and Sagittarius, may have you bursting at the seams to share your newly acquired freedom or freedom feeling knowledge. And while I think it's beautiful to share, and I encourage sharing, again, recognize it's about sharing and not pushing your idea. And then the moon meeting up with Mars may actually be boosting that like desire to to share. It may have you feeling kind of emotionally aggressive. You know, Mars can be aggressive. Even though the moon in um, Aquarius is kind of detached, you know, there may be that like, oh, wait, these people are going to get it. This is my community. And they might, and they might not. And so if you do share something, try not to be attached to the reaction to it or the response to it. Hopefully people will respond and not react, but you never know. And then the last little aspect of today is uh, Mercury is going to be conjunct Pluto, bringing that transformational aspect. And when I was doing the astro, I was like, so this is happening, you know, later in the evening. Like, this is when your mind could put you in a really beautiful place or your mind could get you in trouble. And I was like, Santa's going to be feeling the heat. <laughs> so hopefully Santa will be keeping his mind in a cool, calm place and know that everything is working out. I think with all this, you know, I think, you know, well, the first thing, one of the things, not the first thing, but one of the things that popped into my head with all of these aspects today is the Rumi poem, The Guest House. And The Guest House is like, hey, be grateful for whatever waves of emotions come through you, whatever visits you, whatever experiences visit you, because they are a guest from the beyond to give you whatever lessons you need. And even though it's Christmas Eve, there, there are always lessons. And I think... You know, in addition to that, this gives us a beautiful opportunity to expand ourselves in kindness and let kindness be your vibration, kindness and compassion. And Katie and I pulled some cards on GNO last night all about this, so you might want to check out that and all the information we had about that. But just let your kindness keep exuding and be expansive. You don't have to be right. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to, you know, push anything on anyone. Sometimes a smile and a nod is the most beautiful thing. And other times you got to speak up for yourself and honor your throat chakra. So it's about finding that balance. Like when is, when is it the right time and when is it like, hey, whew, I'm going to just breathe kindness through this and see where that leads me. I always like the rule, is it kind, is it true, is it necessary? And let that kind of guide you through. 
So speaking of that, I love this. I love these cards that I pulled for today. I pulled Slowing Down, which to me, this card is about, hey, stop, be in the moment, and feel through this. You know, it's like not the card of reaction. It's the stopping and feeling. And then the Silence card, which is really the Moon card, which is about feel through, listen to your intuition, honor your intuition. So, you know, before you respond, hopefully respond or react, slow down, stop, breathe, feel, and then listen. And then from that place, you can move forward. And hopefully from that place of expansive kindness that you are now leading from. So that is it for today. Have a beautiful, um, beautiful Christmas Eve if you celebrate that. And I will see you tomorrow for Christmas. But if I don't, Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, Merry everything. Whatever it is for you. Namaste.